just recently got this Feachi LF58 laser flashlight combo for a handgun. I'm going to mount it to my Glock. Let's go ahead and do a quick unboxing on it. It comes with the Allen wrenches to adjust the windage and elevation. It comes with two extra batteries. They are CR123As. I read on some reviews it says they're rechargeable, but as you can see on the battery it says do not recharge, so I would probably go with what the battery says and not recharge it. To take out the clear film on the inside to get the batteries ready to go. You got two switches here. This is the mode selector, it switches from laser to flashlight to laser flashlight combo. And then this is the on off switch. Now you can just hold it on by turning it clockwise, pressure sensitive, or turn it counterclockwise and it leaves it on. There's the flashlight and laser. It's probably hard to see because the flashlight is so bright it almost knocks out the laser. And then flashlight, flashlight laser, and then laser. So this just mounts on the Picatinny slot on the bottom of a standard Glock 17. It attaches right onto the bottom of it, easy, nice and snug. So let's take this thing out to the range and see how it does. Alright, so I finally got a chance to take this new Feachi laser flashlight combo out shooting to test it out. I got it zeroed in with two laser bore sighters. The first one I wasn't very sure about so I used another one so let's see how accurate it is. I think I finally got it. Definitely needs a little bit more fine tuning. Of course, I finally got it to where it needed to be on my last few rounds. But so far, it's not the accessory it's an uh, operator error for not getting it properly zeroed ahead of time. Now as for the flashlight, we'll go ahead and just show how bright it is in the daytime. So there's the flashlight. You can see it's not super bright here in the middle of the day, but that's to be expected. And another thing, that came to my mind is I don't really see a lock button on here to hold the zero. The only thing I see is that screw next to the battery, which I tightened down, thinking maybe that was the zero holder that keeps the, the windage and the elevation from changing. I don't see anything else that would be that, so I'll have to investigate that further as well. So just to show how bright this flashlight is, I actually attached it to my rifle for my walk back down to the car because the sun is setting and it's already almost pitch black out here in the woods. So I'll show you 
how well it handles in the dark and how far the laser goes. But yeah, if you look in the tree line, see it's pitch black in there. So let's go ahead and turn this on. There's the flashlight. As you can see, it goes pretty far. And it's very bright. By the time I get to the bottom, it'll probably be pitch black, so I'll show that some more. But for now, let's check out the laser, see how far it can go. Now that you guys should be able to see it. See, you can see it all the way up in that tree right there. Yeah, that's a good laser. And remember, I got this thing on my rifle. This is made for handguns. But honestly, you could use it on a rifle if you wanted to. See, it's getting a lot darker now, so you can really see how bright this sucker is. Let's switch over the laser. Yeah, see, that's a really strong laser. Yeah, see, all the way on that tree, way up there. It's a strong laser.